today are members of the Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family Class B1 State Championship team. Uh, with us is Coach Candy Hansel and players number 20, Lexi Braundorfer, and number 45, Addison Schneider. Uh, Coach Hansel, if you would start uh, with some uh, general comments about the game and the championship. Um, huh. It's been a long week. Uh, it's crazy, both of us boys and girls being down here, so it's kind of breaks up the week. We can go watch the boys play and then come back and you know prepare for us. Um, the game itself, uh, today, we, our, our second quarter kind of brought us into the game. I think we were a little nervous in that, you know, the big huge PBA spotlight for that first quarter. So uh, the second quarter we came out, I think it was like a 14 to three run. So. Questions? You, uh, you were able to, your last field goal, like I told the Sheldon coach, is 341 left in the third quarter and the rest were free throws. But still, they didn't make any cut into you hardly. Kind of explain how you ever walk. Not score and still maintain or increase the lead. Um, defense, I thought I thought we did a good job of keeping 33 away from the hoop, um, forcing her to shoot outside and pass it off. Uh, but I, I, you know, credit just their defensive hustle. You kind of exercised a couple of demons in the first round and then and beaten Bergen. Did you feel maybe some of the pressure was off by the time you got to the championship game? You know, absolutely. After the first game, you break that quarterfinal game. That that was, I mean, they deserved that for sure. And just, you know, we knew we would probably face Bergen anyway. And then, you know, obviously we wanted the payback. It was our turn to get them. How about just the starts you guys have had this week in all three games? I know it took a little bit longer today, but just all these games you guys have kind of put teams away before halftime almost. Um, I credit they're just, you know, senior leadership. They just come out and all of them, you know, even the five starters, they just were ready to go. They from the from the tip off. They're just focused and ready to go to work. Bruce. Addison, talk about your play, a double double, rebounding and scoring. Uh, talk about your performance and how do you all week. <laughs> I talk about your performance and how are you able to do that? Um, ultimately, I have to do it with my teammates who see whether they're shooting and scoring on the inside because I have to rely on them to get offensive boards of them seeing me inside. I can't do my job without them. Ultimately, it's me working hard getting positioned beforehand, which is my biggest goal when that helps me get offensive boards and scoring inside because I usually have the size advantage on most teams. So definitely try to use that to the fullest. Clark? Addison, were you in the student section for the boys' game last night? I was not. So, no. Were you at the game? Yes, I was at Okay, I mean, watching the boys do it, how much did that drive you guys into more you think? I think it's, it definitely motivated us because it's never been done in our school history where boys and girls have both won it and knowing like the atmosphere that was yesterday, like this is going to be fun to play in. And I think it was motivating seeing all the boys when they came back to the hotel and they were all pumped up and excited. Um, we wanted that feeling too, because we got a little taste of it watching the game, but it wasn't quite the full thing playing. But now we definitely felt it, and it's a great feeling. And, and Coach, along those lines, I mean, what, what stands out to you about how the community, I mean, just the whole week for Humphrey, and I mean, there was a huge turnout for both games. Oh, absolutely. I, I wasn't in Humphrey. I don't think anybody was. So, um, <laughs> but here you could see everybody. We kind of like analyzed that this morning. We're like, the boys' parents were here last night, but so was our girls' parents. And so then we're like, well, our our crowd's just going to be just as big tomorrow because it's you know right away the, in the morning they'll stay. Um, but the community itself, plus with St. Francis being down here, um, everybody's kind of watching everybody play. So did you stay in hotels every night then, or did you drive every, back and forth? Every night except for Tuesday night. We both 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 of our teams went home. Candy, what's the split of Humphrey and? or the ratio of Humphrey and the Holy Family on the team? Um, like you know, the full team or the varsity? The, the full team or the varsity? Varsity. Varsity, it's, it's, it's two, and, 2 and 12. Okay. So there's 12 from Humphrey and 2 from okay. Two Le Lexi, could you talk about how the team put it together and went all the way this year, kind of how, how that happened? I think it's mostly us seniors because we worked so hard for it. For it and. Um, we just kind of led the other underclassmen and just kind of pushed them to reach what they can do too. Lexi, how much do you think this, the guards have grown this year? And I mean, this this week especially, you guys just seem to have a synergy that maybe hasn't always been there. I think 
think we've grown a lot. Um, we started relying on each other more and driving in and passing out and just trusting each other more. I think that was a big like part of how we are so successful. <laughs> we got you. Just like. <laughs> Huge, huge. Uh, rebounding is one, one of our keys because I think Shelton is actually a pretty good rebounding team. Um, so we come in and we average probably about 40, 50 rebounds a game. So being at that spot is nothing unusual for us. Um, Lexi, however, you would not think that, you know, walking on the, on the court, she was a rebounder. The, from the size, but her grit and just her ability to get in position is, it says a lot. Addison, just what's, what's these last few years been like? I mean, how much did, did doubt creep in? How much, you know, how many dark places did you go to just wondering if it was every year going to be the same? Just how much have you had to deal with? It's, it's been a lot, a lot more than a lot of athletes have to go through, but Ultimately, without it, I don't think I would be here with my team here today because it ultimately made me the person and athlete that I am. Um, and it's, again, I have to give credit to my teammates and my sister, Abby, where they helped me get out of it and they helped me push to get um, get better, recover in four months' time for each ACL. And it's, <laughs> this definitely made it all worth it, everything I've gone through in the last couple of years. When you worked so hard for the first one to get back and then it happens again, I mean, Dia. How do you mentally and emotionally prepare to do it all over again? It it was hard the second time, just knowing like having having it happen at state where you couldn't play, and it's like why why did this happen again? But it is the motivation, just the love for this game, and I I love playing for this team, and I just want to do my part. And the faster I get back, the faster I can help and play for this team. And for Coach and Lexi, how have you guys seen her handle it these last few years? You know, you you feel bad that. That last last year at the state tournament, for what she's been through the first time, we were in SCOTUS at a at a um, coaches or a team team summer league, and there too she she hurt her knee and she come out and tried to play again and she couldn't. When we were playing Bergen last year, she she hurt her knee on a fast break, no contact. Um, she come out. I think you went back in two times, didn't you try? And she just couldn't go. Um, her her ability. I mean, if you ha if you nobody knows Addison, she's a perfectionist at everything that she does. And that second ACL she tore, she knew exactly what to do. And she was on the, I think you were on the bike the day it happened, or the next day she was getting ready for surgery. So knowing her, I knew she would be back. And just a lot of people keep asking, I can't believe she played volleyball. I can't believe she played volleyball. And I'm like. You don't. You guys don't know Addison. You just don't know her grit and her her ability to just you know uh, get things where she needs to be, and it, it's just the mindset that she has. She's one of the strongest person I know. Um, she she just like plays for us, and it's really like touching because she, she's not. You can't find a better teammate than her, honestly. I second that. Okay, hey, congratulations once Thank again, you. Humphrey Lindsay Holy Family Bulldogs, Class B1 Girls Champions.